Another thing is that as I still go for exact knowledge. Mm. In for any case, by exact knowledge. By exact knowledge, I'm trying to say that there are many information that are useless and not useful that they cannot <laughs> truth is they, they don't produce results. They can see. If you hold information, you should be able to hold the result it produces. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. Oh, I know this thing. This is what this does. If you go to a university, yes. everything they are teaching you, this is what it is used for. So anything you give me that you cannot trace, you use it is useless and it is not exact. What's up, guys? My name is Gift, and welcome to my YouTube channel. On today's episode, I have a friend, a brother, um, he's a team leader of. 18 leaders network in Abuja is Elijah Pupong. Okay, what's up, guys? And nice to be here. And nice to be here with my brother Gift. Alright, so um, the bedrock of this channel basically is self development, productivity, tech, and the aspect of growth generally. Um, <clears throat> one of the things I've always wanted is the idea of young people finding purpose. Now, at this age, we are faced with a lot of challenges. One of the things I think over time is you've grown to a point where we could talk about it and that's why you're here. Um, I put together one or two questions I feel this generation need to know. And the first question is, now, I feel there's one thing we are missing in this generation. When I mean this generation, I mean this particular age range, right? What is that one thing that we are missing? Now, when we are going to talk about it in the aspect of finance, self development, and maybe relationships, so what is that one thing you think <coughs> is wrong with us? What is the problem? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you for that question. So, the one thing that is missing is that it's not one thing that is missing. Okay. That's the first thing. One thing that is missing that we need to come to a conclusion that there is no one thing that is missing. If you start from the standpoint of one thing is missing, you get into a lot of fast routes, what you call hard way to do this quick fix, and, and life doesn't work that way. So it's not one thing that is missing. We have um, a plethora of different pieces missing, separate pieces. Just that one, it's not one thing that is missing. A lot of things are missing. Hmm. Can you categorize anything that is missing? Because one of the things I always say is, for us to grow, we must find ourselves first. So that process of growth, right? How is it possible? What are the things you feel, you know, intentional things that would enable us to grow? Um, I think I think we need to come to a place of responsibility, personal responsibility. See, it is my personal opinion that you don't make commitment to anybody who has not decided. Mm. But responsibility talks about many things. Part of it, which is your ability to respond and your um, ability to choose your response. It is one, your ability to respond. It's another one, your ability to choose your response. So we have a generation of young people that are largely transferring the responsibility to some, someone else. Oh, because I came from this family because I grew up in this environment. So all of those factors, responsibility. If we can come to a point where we start accepting responsibility, it's a good start. Because that way you know that maybe this is my life. No matter what has happened, what will happen, what is happening, I must take responsibility. I must develop the ability to respond to this life positively and choose the response I will give to this life. Otherwise, we will just, we will just end up seeing what we, we are saying in a more or in a larger scale. Yep. where you see a spree of irresponsible people, you are surprised, like, how can human be so, be, be so dumb? How can we think below the line this much, you're wondering? So it is that we need to come to a place of responsibility. Responsibility is the first thing we need to come, the place we need to come to. The fact that this is my life, this is my environment. We, 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 we tend to transfer responsibility, like, this, this, um, um, this street is not working, the street light is not working, or, um, the what was it called? Um, forgotten. Yeah, um, water. Gutters. Gutters. We like the gutters are not clean. Meanwhile, those are personal responsibilities. Right? It's in front of your house. The government should, will not come and do that. 
right? So it is a problem of responsibility. Why is this thing happening to me? I need to come to the point where I understand that it's my life. I'm the one living it. I need to take responsibility. I need to accept and find, okay, what is this? How do I fix this? So from that point, we can, we can move on. Don't make commitment to anyone who has not decided. It's an error. They will see you as a nuisance. They think you are disturbing them. So that's the thing. As, as a young person, come to place of responsibility. Ask questions. Why is this happening? And when you finish asking questions, don't transfer, don't transfer everything you've seen to someone else. It is their fault. It may be their fault, but this is your life. You need to accept responsibility and start building something. Wow, that's a great one. Um, you talked about responsibility, or you're still talking about responsibility. Now, there's a point where you got to, and you became responsible. So, one of the things we are lacking is, get, is knowing that threshold, that point where we should become responsible. So, what are those activities from a man's perspective? Because I feel um, the point of a man is obviously different from the point of a woman. Yeah. So, and we are both men. So, what particular point do you think a man must become responsible? Well, this is a very tricky question, actually, because responsibility has nothing to do with age, like you know, or size or anything. Let me first answer the question in another way. The reason why we've seen a lot of irresponsible people is because we are growing up in an, an environment that cultures us to say, you are young, I am young syndrome. That has plagued many people to the point where be like, oh, I'm too young to do this, I'm too young to do this, my age this, I'm too young to do this. Remember there was a time, and this is a very sensitive um, issue, there was a time where um, we saw a 17-year-old trying to do rituals, right? Mm -hmm. And we were like, oh, it's bad. Yes, it is bad to do rituals. But then on Twitter, I saw some people asking, what is a 17-year-old looking for, looking for 10 million and four? Yes, yes, that's right. Now, ritual is bad. But for a, for a people to come to a conclusion where they're where they asking what a 17 year old looking for terminal for is the bad thing. The mm -hmm. thing. It's because we've not we've not broadened our horizon to see that 17 year old and terminal is, is a joke. Go and check for the young people in the US and you see people, you see a, a four year old, you see, a, you see, a, you see a someone eight, six, and you're wondering how did you become a millionaire? Right, so the fact that this is wrong, literally this is wrong, or it, 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 we are doing ritual is wrong. Doesn't mean being a 17 year old and wanting money, money to that extent is bad. It's nothing, it's normal. We should we should have. So we, we, we've gone to that point where I am young syndrome of community laws. So um, for a guy, and we can we can test this with Nigeria that it is obvious that if you have a lady and a guy inside the same house, the lady ten, tends to grow or tends to grow um grow up faster than, than the guy. Yes. But she's always inside the house with her parents. The guy is always outside, playing ball, going to the bush, running up and down. Mm -hmm. And all of this, it, 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 it leads to a, a, a kind of um, irresponsibility in a way. The, 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 the ladies are calm. They are wondering, why is, this, why is my mate behaving this way? Why is he playing? Why is he joking about everything? Everything is joke to him. But the guy's like, I'm like, let me just play around. But the point comes, and I think that point, most times it comes through pain, through pain, most times it comes through the, it, 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 it is a slight, it is a slight, um, but it comes through, and um, how do I explain this, it comes through information, but many times you do not pursue that information, information comes to you, so you might be watching a movie, and you just see something, okay, do you, do you know that many people, they don't know that they are poor, or they will not know that they were poor until they got to someone else's house and notice that the house was kept in a very very decent way the kitchen was okay the floors were made very very polished and everything and like ah why is my house like this and why is this house like this so it, 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 it is that that there is an information that can come to you unplanned but that you were able to listen and be like okay there is more yes. because sorry because every action we take is based on an information we have if nobody, you cannot do what you don't know. Yes. Every action you take is an information. So, if you have access to new information, whether through movies, through music, through mentorship, through any platform, that information coming to you, it, it can it can raise up your bar of responsibility. So, it, it is not like oh, at this age, once you get to age, you will be responsible. No, 
there's no certainty. Number one, pain, because when you feel so much pain, you start questioning things. Why is this thing like this? Why is it like this? What can be done? Most times when we 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 stop our, our question at why is this thing like this? Why is this a very good question? Okay, why? What is wrong? The next thing, what can be done to fix this? And from that point, you start accessing information, how to become rich, how to do this, and you start saying, okay, you need to do this. That that is responsibility because you're in a situation and you are responding to it and you're choosing your response. Whereas some other person can be poor, like we've seen, and decide to go do ritual. You know, you're choosing to say, oh, I am responsible. I have I have the ability to respond and I have to choose my response. I am choosing not to do ritual. I am choosing to find a legitimate way to make work. So it's not it's not an age gap like when you get to this age. This, yeah, so it is something that the, the, the most the, the most potent is pain. Pain drives you to a point and then there is information coming to into you. And that one is hard to explain because it's not like somebody will give you information. You're just a person. You just hear a thought. And then you start questioning your thought. Right? Information, especially the the why and what questions kind of information. So why is this like this? How can we make this better? If you if you are introduced if you're introduced to new information, you see things differently and you know things differently. So it, it's like that. But for a for a lady, once she's small, she's already she's already um, um, bound by um, my parents house from this place to be pitching my brothers are going to play football and they are with uncles so all of those interactions with uncles because they are talking at their own realm when she's in that circle so she's understanding okay she's understanding at their level because they're discussing at their level but the guy is outside the house these people are discussing serious discussion the guy is playing football she's already in their midst so she's okay she's beginning to think like them but the guy is still playing like he does my goodness he's been a guy yes yeah, wow. So. wow 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 that was, that was a lot one of the one of the greatest things i feel is the problem of guys is something is driving us away from acknowledging responsibility and even if we acknowledge responsibility we don't want to stand with it that's why a lot of people are addicted to drugs to smoking to everything that will distract them from their main purpose or finding responsibility or acknowledging responsibility. One of the greatest factors or depleting issue that we spoke about, a lot of researchers have found, is the issue of addiction. From social media to the idea of millennials to everything, there is always something that is taking away that factor that would make you responsible responsible so how do we tackle addiction at this age because whatever you find yourself doing or whatever you know you can do right you know you can study you know you are meant to find the skills that will develop you you know you are meant to do a lot of things that will make you better but there is something driving you away from that responsibility right so how do we tackle addiction from social media to drugs to anything addictive, how do we tackle it? Okay. If you can provide systems, I would really appreciate it. Um, the way I see this is that addiction is not bad. Mm. So what you are addicted to doing is bad. Because you cannot, for example, say someone who is addicted to reading his book and studying is a bad person. Mm. He's doing something bad right now. It's what you are addicted to. One of the most potent ways to, to overcome addictions, most times you hear any place with addiction with better with what you want to do. It's not always that easy. What you need to understand, what we need to understand is, is that um, the mind is very powerful, the will is very powerful. If you decide to do something, you will find a way to do it, except if you decide it. And you decide, I want to do this thing, is there a way? And you notice that there is a way. I mean, there is no way. Human beings, they can look for ways and it will work. So yes, for for addiction, it is um how do I how do I clearly break this down? Um it is not something that you just you just switch habits casually. It is more of a mindset problem because for most of the things we want people to do, because I said addiction is not ideally bad, it's what you're addicted to doing that is bad. We want people to probably, let's say, love information, 
place value information. Honor people, be addicted to honoring people, and addicted to eating good food and yes. all of that things, right? So Sorry. that the reason why many people do not do that because we do not understand the law of delayed gratification. Because reading a book will not pay you from day one. True. Doing exercise will not pay you from day one. Or if you masturbate, then and then you find the pleasure. If you smoke, it gets to your um, it um, what is it called dopamine something. It brings out the excitement in you. So what what makes people to them um, to be to 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 be held by evil addictions like you know them is because all of those negative addictions they have instant pleasure and gratification. All of them. Why are you doing this? Because if I do this now in five, ten, one hour, this is the result. When you tell me to now start doing this, doing this, doing this, I know that I know that there is result, but the willingness to stay, the consistency, you struggle, you fail, you are like, ah, let me just find me an easy route. So if people are looking for easy way out, that will lead to the negative addictions. Right? When people are now ready, say, oh, this thing, I know it will take me time. There is there is there is a series I hope one day I'll bring for it's called Built Built to Last. Built to Last. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we would have the chance by then to interview some top people and ask them and tell them to tell our generation that we need to know that anything that will last must be built. Must be built with time, with intention, with precision. You can't just bring up Bosch Khalifa in two weeks. It's not, no matter how intelligent you are, in fact, the law of building itself. There's no alarm, there's no alarm for that, right? So, what leads to addiction, what all of this is because people do not understand the law of delayed gratification. That this thing, the result comes in five years. In fact, the result is not about something you can say, the result is you changing to become somebody, somebody better. So, they want to just smoke now because there's this excitement, Let's have sex now. There's this, the result is instant, they want instant result. That, that, that is what has led to every evil and addiction. So, the way to come against that is to teach people. The value of delayed gratification, mm. right? Because many people know that smoking kills. They know, but it, and you, you hear people saying, "I cannot help myself." I don't believe that. Mm. I don't believe that. The truth is, if you are smoking, you want to stop smoking. It will be challenges. Probably you may smoke, you may stop for one month, and after a while you take. But if you want to stop it, you will stop it. If anything you want to do, as long as you want it, you want to do that thing. You will find a way to do it as long as you just decide I want to stop this thing. I will fail. It's a project, okay? I want to stop masturbating. I was down there. I will accept Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You will fail. One day you will go back and you'll be like, hi, I failed. No, no. You need to just continue. I failed. Okay, let me pick up again. Let me continue. I will not that process. You want to stop smoking? One day you will just pick up that cigarette and say, let me just say, but continue. Just know that it will take me time. Because it took you time to build that habit. Yeah. It takes you time to respond to that. So you just need to understand the law of delayed gratification wow. and apply it to work. Wow. Delayed gratification, instant gratification has been one of the greatest hindrances. What is your greatest advice to this generation? Or to, My generation. to our generation? To my generation. So if, if you asked me in in a nutshell, right? From experiences, you had conversations with old, young, books, a lot of things you've heard. Put it in your capsule, right? And think, what is your greatest advice? You talked about the new gratification. What is that thing you should know, you should do, that will pay financially, mentally, and emotionally? What is your greatest advice? What is my greatest advice? That's like, what, what exactly do I know that is do is rewarding you and all of that? Oh, it's not a one word. That's the first thing. It's not a one word. But this is an idea of what it will look like. The idea is that as you know, if you, when you find yourself on earth, be guided by posterity, the fear of God. And in this conversation by God, I mean the God of the Bible. If you are listening to this and you have an idea of God, guided by posterity, the fear of God and a good conscience. 
if we do this, there is, there is a sense in which we live peaceably and peacefully mm. and we will advance humanity. Right. Another thing is that as I study, go for exact knowledge. Mm. In what, any what case, by exact knowledge? By exact knowledge, I'm trying to say that there are many information that are useless and not useful that they cannot <laughs> truth is they, they don't produce results they can see if you hold information you should be able to hold the result it produces mm -hmm. otherwise you're wasting your time oh i know this thing this is what this does if you go to a university yes. everything they are teaching you this is what it is used for so anything you give me that I, you cannot trace the use it is useless and it's not exact so Go for exact information. If you go to a university, they can teach many things. They are teaching many things. But there's a f f faculty of arts, faculty of medicine, faculty of this. There's this department. When you get into the science department, for example, you won't learn literature. You will not learn government. You will not learn all of that. No, it's not needed. It is useful, but with respect to what you are studying, it is absolutely not needed. Right? So go for exact knowledge. Check out this information. What will it produce? What is it supposed to produce? If you cannot hold this kind of information and hold the information, you are wasting your time. You end up, in fact, in a generation where people no longer pay the information because the information looks free, looks available, looks everywhere. But so people do not place value in information. So go for it, exact knowledge. In any case, in any case, you need knowledge. I've heard people say, I want to just do. In our generation, you know, crypto, NFTs, forex, and you do affiliate marketing. In any case, you need money. You cannot live effectively and even boost your finance without sufficient. Oh, you say, give me just 100 million, give me just 5 million, just give me 500,000, and I'm done. You are choking. You want to invest. Should you ask questions on investments? What do you want to buy? What do you want to invest in? How many percent are they giving? And you start asking questions, you just remember, like, I just want to invest, just put it in fixed deposits. They'll give me. I'm looking at 10%. And I'm looking at what, what, are they, what are you saying? Like, what are you really saying in the sense? You are, in any case, you need knowledge, sufficient knowledge, but all of that must be exact. You want to, you want your finances to be okay. What you should do, go to the internet or any platform you have for learning, if you have a library. Go and get all the books there is on finances and start reading. Start reading. If you can make them an audio format, in, in an audio format, do that. Start listening. In any case, you need information. That is the truth. You cannot say, oh, I want to just stay, I want to just. It is lack of sufficient quality information that has caused Africa and sadly Nigeria to be in a state, in this state that we are in at the moment. We do not have adequate information mm. and when we have it people do not place value we in we are in a generation where people say things like we are in the technological age i don't believe that i don't believe that what i believe is that technology is not really an age technology is a, it's a product of an age yes we are we are not in the information age we've always been in information age True. people have just not been willing to press so much so into getting those information mm -hmm. out Right, so in any case, you need, there's nobody that will take you, know, they tell you just go and learn a skill, learn a skill. When you finish learning how to sew, you say you know what they call customer service, you know what they call branding, marketing, sales, management. You need to, in many cases, you need, how do I sell? How do I differentiate myself from my competitors? You need to know this. Because even if you employ somebody, you pay the person high and you're starting. You want to try to save operation cost, operational cost and production cost as much as possible. So in the end, the, this for me will be the highest. In any case, as long as you want it today, you are a young person. In any case, you need knowledge. So go for knowledge, go for exact knowledge. Get sufficient, maximize there's there's so many free information available. Maximize free information. Use this information. And if there's something else I would say, what should it be? Okay, I was supposed to refer back to the things I said earlier. Prosperity, the fear of God, and good conscience. Listen, the reason why humanity has not advanced where we should be advanced now is because of lack of this. Lack of this. I, I hope you believe that we have not finished seeing invention. What we, 
most of all you are seeing now is just a, a, like innovation people are just upgrading what has been when you check those that invented fan microphone bulb there was nothing like that before it was invented now we have not settled down to have good conscience when you have good conscience towards humanity when you sit down you will see what is what what do we need to make humans or to make humans move forward what do we need to make humans live better live longer this kind of questioning will not lead to you coming up to say okay you you which kind of questioning being a responsible is not hard hmm. because when, when you have a question like there's so much accident in africa how do we prevent it? You, you are taking, you, might, you are already taking a person for everybody. How do we, you are, you are talking to yourself, you are saying, how do we prevent it? So you are bringing everybody to your shoes. Okay, if if I drive like this as a person, if I drive this way, if I obey traffic like, if I do this, I'll, right, this can be avoided. What if all of us do the same thing? So you start thinking of measures. You are already taking responsibility. This kind of mindset already shifts as your friend or it saves your friend. Okay, this, this, we know that if you come to me already, you know that. Sorry, I want to fix accident. You what do you want to do? Want to smoke? Want to cause accident? And lighten it. Um, you did you did a business class recently, right? Yes. And one of the greatest thing a lot of people think they know is the idea thought of business, right? We all have this concept of I want to start a business. They, they have that, it's beautiful when you tell somebody I have a business or I have an idea of a business, right? Um, we all enjoy it when, you, well, I think we had a conversation one time and we spoke about an indeed person, the kind of person you want to be and the kind of person you really are, the kind of person you picture yourself to be. So, let's go back to the business class we have. Just, just, just there, uh, from the surface, Give us a summary in two minutes on the business growth. This is like yes, summary of business growth. Okay. Strategies we talked about. Strategies. This okay. Is <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> so we're not doing Okay, truth be told, you have any people who they don't want to sound like they're not doing anything. Yes, that's that's right. They want to be like, I'm into business and sales. And then you ask questions like, okay, you are into are you making profit? You're like, mm. Yes. Okay. So how many customers do you have? You don't know the customer. Customer is person that people are buying from you. Who are you selling to? Target audience. Who can refer you? How many new customers have you got in the last three months, two months, one month? Nobody. Then you are like, I'm in business. And what they are recycling? They are recycling. Yeah, they've, they've, they've. Invested their capital, they've been able to struggle their way to just recycle change. By change, I mean small amount of cash around the business. So, you invested 100,000 naira, for example, but then you sold, you sold like 70,000 naira into the business. Not you know, of the capital. But you, the fact that you can still get one more person to buy, you'll be like, I'm still in business. And they can still get one person to buy. So, in fact, when you tell people to come to, to free class, come on, all come and pay for a class, they'll be like, no, I'm in business, I'm doing fine. Right? So, just for business, you need to know that it takes time to grow your business. That's the first strategy. It takes time to grow your business. As a new, and a lot of us are not willing to. We are not willing. In fact, that process. you see, one, one of the reasons why entrepreneurs fail is that they've not defined why they are entrepreneurs. Are you doing business because you want to meet and meet? Are you doing business because you want to solve a major problem? You want to supply? Are you trying to build an empire? Mm. What are you trying to do? If you define why you are in the business as an entrepreneur, as a business person, it is easy. Because you know that I want to build an empire. I want this to be a household name. The, the reason why you are in business is we, we, we define your strategy. Because you know that uh, in this issue, it's not, it's not first, it's not. It's not first, um, you know how quick I'm going to sell. I know what I'm building. It's, it's something that want to last for 200, 300 years. I want to build something because you are hungry, you want to eat the day and do business, try to sell. So you just, you be eager to do anything. Mm -hmm. First thing is like, it takes time to grow your business. And I 
it will be free bonus i'll give you that for, for a business person you want you're starting or you are you are still growing you want to do anything check your production cost hmm. production cost production cost how much do you use to produce how much are you using to run the business and time of operations right now when you check this find a way to cut this down find a way to cut this down if you don't do this you will notice that you are getting money you are using the money to run the business yes. and to produce you don't have anything in your savings you cannot you notice at the end of the year you're able to raise five million for a small business a very small business but then you cannot lay hold on where's my profits where's my idea because you used everything to run the business and so do production so cut your production cost think of how you can buy in bulk think of how okay i have to pr produce in bulk all right if you don't if you don't need a space don't want to rent the space you'll be paying more you'll be buying fuel you'll be paying for light you'll be paying this way you don't you'll be paying transport fare and you don't yeah, that's operational costs you don't need that all right so think of how you can do this too and if there's another thing i'll add to this to the first one i said it takes time to do your business right Notice that when you get into the market, people are trying to verify who you are, how authentic you are. No matter how you think you are legit, how good you think you are, your friends know you, those are your friends, they've, they've been with you for like 10, 15 years. Yes. No matter how legit you think you are, people are trying to know, people are, just come to their face and you're saying, you know, they know you are there. They're trying to verify who is this? How are we sure you can give us what it what says you can give us? So they're trying to verify your authenticity, everything. After a while, which is that people still start being comfortable coming to your class. In fact, they can even come and come again to your class. Right? It's because they are taking or come and buy it from the business. Well, they try to verify, oh, she can bake. Okay, let's wait. Let's see how she's baking for her friends. Let's just see. When we can trust that she can deliver. Wow. Many people that want business growth, they're not prepared for it. Mm. Yes. This, one, this one is paid. You pay me. Many people that want business growth, you produce this cup. Right? You want to sell this, you want to make 200 million in one year. 200 million in one year. A good question. Let's use dollars. Yes. 200 million dollars, not naira. Dollars. They have not really checked the work it takes to produce for that kind of money. So they'd be like, I want customers. If they start placing orders, can you meet it? Hmm. That's the problem. Because when you start placing orders, placing orders, you, you can get you, you can get let's see somebody trying to say we need five hundred thousand cups in two days. Can you deliver? Because people know you can deliver. You are coming. You can be trusted. We use you to recommend you. People that want business, but they are not prepared. They just have the idea of grow. Let me just grow. Let me just let me just let me just. But if they settle down, like I said when I was giving you advice, to go for knowledge, you you, you won't be reconsidering growth. And what does it take from you? Effort. 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 So it's a it's a lot. I hope I've been able to help. Yes. Operational cost, production cost. Those are things you need to check. Otherwise, you spend your entire money producing and taking care of the business. Wow, I'm sure you've been beyond blessed. Let me use that word, mm -hmm. both mentally and emotionally. I want you I've to blessed. your last words. A last word. Because I'm very sure this is not going to be the last time we're going to have it. With the process of growth, a point will come again, but we definitely have it. So we will not want to empty your quiver of knowledge mm. just for this video. Okay. So your last word in 10 seconds. Our last words in 10 for seconds. For everybody, not just for old young is students, everybody. So my last words in 10 seconds yes. is my last words. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Please do. Please like, share, subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend. We are growing this community. Please tell a friend. You'll be glad you did. And they will actually appreciate you. So tell a friend. Insist on the friend. Tell him you need to watch this. You need to listen to this. You need to subscribe to this channel and comment. 
I will love you. Alright, I will drop every link to all his platforms in the section and description below. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now. Bye for now. Peace. Bye.